This is video five of the archery education series. Today we're gonna to talk about trajectory of an arrow and specifically we're gonna look at it from a point of misjudging a yardage and how much difference do we have in arrow drop. This, this next thing we're gonna look at was really interesting to me. In fact, I, I didn't believe the math and so I, I went out and shot and, and tried to replicate it for myself of whether the numbers would agree. I took those same three arrows, 350 grains, 450 grains, and 600 grains. Using a ballistics calculator specifically for archery, we zeroed the shot at 60 yards, try to determine what would our difference be if the animal was not at 60 yards. So for example, if the animal was at 55 or if the animal was at 65, how much of a miss would we have? I didn't go beyond a five yard increment. You can look at the chart if you'd like to see the whole span and use your judgment there. So for the light arrow, the 350 grains at 330 feet per second, you're shooting at 60 yards and the animal happens to be 55, you're going to hit approximately five inches high. If it's at 65 yards, you're going to hit approximately six inches low if it's 65 yards. Assuming you shot for 60, well how does that compare to our 450 grain arrow and our 600 grain arrow. Our 450 grain arrow is gonna be approximately 6.2 inches high at 55 yards and about seven and a half inches low at 65 yards. And so not a large deviation from the 350 grain arrow, yet we're traveling at 290 feet per second versus 330. Now for the 600 grain arrow, and this surprised me quite a bit, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to go out and actually shoot the arrows to see if my grouping somewhat correlated with the math. Here we found out that 600 grains at 252 feet per second, if I was shooting for 60 and the animal was at 55 yards, it would be about eight inches high. If the animal is at 65 yards, it would be approximately nine and a half inches low. Now that's a five yard difference. I'll put a link in the description for this particular archery ballistics calculator, which I think is very good. And do your own analysis and shoot it in the field and see what you guys get. So the particular arrows that I had available to me to shoot, a Victory Rip 250 spine with the standard 60 grain steel that it comes with and 150 grain point weight. This arrow with fletchings was 530 grains. And I compared that to a day six arrow. This is a day six HD 250. Again, a 250 spine with fletch, 150 grain steel outsert and 150 grain point, 705 grains. The ballistics calculator showed the 705 grains to hit approximately 10 inches low. If shot for 60, at 65 yards, it would be approximately 10 inches low. That's what I tested in at the range. I didn't shoot at 55 to see how high it would be. So I'm only gonna compare the 65. In my shooting, my grouping was not the best. It was raining and snowing and bad weather. It is what it is. I'm not a professional archer. Judging between the center of my groups, I would say that was pretty close. A 10 inch rough difference I, had, I did not run the numbers on these particular arrows until after I shot at the range. The lighter shaft, the 530 grains, approximately 8.3 inches low. That's a, over 150 grain difference in weight and roughly an inch difference in drop between the two arrows. So not, not very drastic at all. Um, in fact, it, from my shooting, my shooting ability, I don't know that I could tell the difference between the two of how much lower one was shooting versus the other. When I was shooting at 60 yards, I tried to make sure my bow was zeroed for 60. I do think I wasn't quite zeroed with the two, with the uh, the lighter arrow. I think it was hitting a little low and the 705 grain arrow may have been hitting a little higher. I did shoot with two different bows. The 705 grain I had zeroed for my Matthews VXR 28. Again, it's a 70 pound bow, 29 and a half inch draw. That bow is actually pulling 73 pounds versus the Prime. Same specs, 70 pounds, 29 half inch of draw. That one's actually pulling 70 pounds. The Matthews is a faster bow. I encourage everyone to go out and try this yourself. With the current arrows you're using, maybe set up a heavy arrow and see what kind of drop that does. It was really interesting to me to see how little difference there was between the real heavy 700 grains and even the 
the theoretical 350 grains, I, I assumed it would be somewhere in the range of 20 inches or more. Not, not drastic, I mean, three inches of difference of drop, which comes to a, a big question of performance of an arrow. They, they perform relatively similar. So shoot whatever you like. This is just a purely discussion to see what, what we can do to have the best performing arrow for our each individual selves. And in the next videos, we're gonna talk about bow tuning. I've got a full pro shop basically set up here in my gun room. In the future, I'm gonna get into broadheads as well. I wanted to do a specific video on that because they, they are very important in my opinion especially to penetration. I appreciate everyone's questions. Uh, keep them coming and I'd love to answer whatever I can. I view this as a discussion back and forth. Let's try to get some answers on what's the best arrow for us, for our equipment and for our quarry that we're chasing. All right, well, it's been good. Till next time, thanks.